Hello, Special Olympics Review Your Champion Families. I'm so happy you are here with me. I hope you all enjoyed the chicken pot pie last session. Thank you for the wonderful photos and notes you sent me. I really appreciate it. Great job. Before we start, I would like to thank Ryan and his SO team. Thank you, Ryan, for your great support to make this program happen. You have brought a lot of joy for all of us. Next. The second thank you is for the caregivers. Thank you, caregivers who go together with participants. You are changing lives one dish at a time. We are grateful for your love and support. Let's continue. Next. Welcome to my class. My name is Sam Anthony Go. You can call me Chef. I'm a graduate of George Brown Chef School. Next. This is my e-commerce website. I want to create valued role for people with developmental disability so that they can live with purpose inimitable because there is no limit in terms of value. I hope you enjoy my class. Don't forget to- I use a keyboard for volume. I don't know how to do that. I know how. Here's the agenda. We start with the lecture followed by a video demo. Then it is your turn to cook. After that, we will play Kahoot, then we say goodbye to our next class. Next, today we learn about beef chili. This weekend is the Super Bowl. Many will enjoy tailgate party. Chili is a favorite tailgate food. What's in it? Let's find out together. Next. Many people argue about the best chili recipe. What are the components of chili and where does it come from? Let's find out together. The components of a chili are chili pepper, meat, kidney beans, and tomato. Next. Story has it. The full name of chili is chili con carne, meaning chili served with meat. The dish is originated in the area between Mexico and Texas border is a Tex-Mex dish. Many people are chili lovers. They are very passionate of their chili, hence many competitions throughout the states in US. We can use different chili, meat, beans, and spices. Some add chocolate and coffee, and, and some make it vegetarian using bulgur and tofu to replace the meat. Chili is a complete meal. It is easy and quick to make. We can eat it with rice or cornbread or nachos, nachos chips to add carbohydrate. Next. In this recipe, we use two kinds of chili, ancho and cayenne. Ancho chili is actually dried poblano pepper. It is the deep green one. Ancho chili is smoky with a moderate heat level and fruity undertones. Ancho is delicious used in spice rub and mole sauce in Mexican cooking. The cayenne is where we get the heat, but some like it really hot, so they use habanero. Next, today we use kidney beans. You can choose between red, between red and white. Pinto beans are named so because of their streaky colors. Pinto has more fiber than kidney beans. Black beans have slightly more, on, more antioxidant that help us fix ourselves from damages. All are good source of protein as well as fibers and antioxidant. At the end, it depends on which taste you like best. Next. For this recipe, we use ground beef. Chili enthusiasts argue about which cut is best. Maybe chuck from the shoulder or short ribs or brisket from lower chest of the cow. Some use ground turkey or chicken that have less fats than beef and vegetarian use burger wheat to replace meat. Let next, 
Let's get cooking. Next, here are the tools you need. It takes about one hour to make. Measure cups and spoons, strainer, soup pot pan, ladle, wooden spoon to store soup, can opener, and knife and cutting board. Next, here are the ingredients to make four to six servings. We need to make mirapoa, which is a flavor base made of onion, carrots, and celery. We use bacon to give smoky flavor. You can also use turkey bacon, lean ground beef, canned beans and tomato. To add complexity of flavor, use port wine from Portugal or sherry, aged white wine from Spain. For no alcohol option, use apple juice. Then we have the spices. We have the usual garlic powder, ground black pepper, Special mix for the chili includes cinnamon, anzo chili, cumin, coriander, mustard seeds, cayenne, paprika, and bay leaves. If you want to reduce cost, you can skip the bay leaf and replace cinnamon stick with ground cinnamon. If you don't like spicy, reduce cayenne and anzo chili to half in the recipe. Mission plus, wash dry all vegetables and poison your ingredients. Next, before we start, first, safety rules. Always have a caregiver with you at all times. When the stove is on, attend to it. Do what you're comfortable doing safely. Take your time, don't rush. Have fun, enjoy the food. Share it with your loved ones. Be careful with knife. Attend the stove. Do not talk on the phone while cooking. Next, these are the important tips. Mirapua is a flavor base for stew or soup. It has onion, carrots, and celery. This is classic French formula. Always wash your hands and utensils after handling raw meat. Stir frying spices bloom their flavor to make it more intense. If you are sensitive to spice, cut the spice portion in half and taste after each addition. Stop when you think it is delicious. Bulk bun allows us to get spices in small amount at reasonable cost. Next, let's watch me cooking it. Four square. <laughs> This is Chef Anthony. Today we'll be making beef jelly. Here are the ingredients. Mirapua is used as a flavor base for sauce and soup. Put the all spices into the pan. Put the black pepper and the garlic into the pan. Vegetable. Done. Pour the 
want to add the beans. Add the pot into the pan. Voila, delicious and comforting chili. Now it is your turn. Let's get cooking. <laughs> 